Thank you for staying up late with us. Off the top tonight, D.C. continues to strengthen its security measures as we are just days away from the presidential inauguration. Is it enough? There's already been a few troubling arrests and encounters near security checkpoints on Capitol Hill. Fox 5's Lindsay Watts reports. Right now, there are more troops in D.C. than in Iraq and Afghanistan combined. This is about as secure as it gets. There is a perimeter around D.C. checkpoints like this one right here. Yet this weekend, people are already testing it. Sunday morning after midnight, D.C. police arrested a Virginia man they say had a visible Glock in a holster, high-capacity magazines, and 37 rounds. They say he was walking on Massachusetts Avenue Northeast, a few blocks from the Capitol. Police say the suspect is 22-year-old Guy Berry of Gordonsville, Virginia. He's now facing charges, including carrying a pistol without a license. Not too far from there, Saturday morning, Capitol Police say a woman stopped at a security checkpoint near Union Station. They say she stated she was a member of law enforcement and presented a military challenge coin. Police say she drove off when she was questioned, but police caught up with her. She's now facing charges, including false impersonation of an officer. Capitol Police say the woman had a psychiatric evaluation before being booked in jail. Then on Friday evening, literally just trying to go to work. This man, Wesley Beeler, was arrested at a checkpoint at North Capitol and East Streets Northeast. Police say he had a loaded handgun and 500 rounds of ammo. Beeler is from Front Royal, Virginia. He told Fox 5's Aisha Khan he works for a local security company and he got lost as he was going to do security work near the Capitol. I was literally just trying to go to work. I was one block away asking for the cop for directions, the Capitol policeman. And it blew up into this whole domestic terrorist thing. Like, just because things are happening out there doesn't mean that's what I'm trying to do. I forgot my firearm was in the truck. I was trying to make it to work. Beeler was released, but is charged with carrying a pistol without a license and possession of an unregistered firearm and ammunition. He says he works for MVP Protective Services, which has refused to comment on the situation or answer our questions. With police and the National Guard on high alert downtown, Mayor Muriel Bowser was asked if she was concerned about soft targets elsewhere. Here's her response on Meet the Press. I'm not, I'm not only concerned about uh, other state capitals, uh, I'm also concerned about other parts of Washington, D.C. Uh, what you're showing is really the federal enclave of Washington, D.C., not where the 700,000 of us live. Um, so our police department um, working with our, our, our federal law enforcement partners and the United States Army, quite frankly, uh, also has a plan to yeah. pivot if we have any attacks in our neighborhoods. This is a lot for D.C. residents to deal with all of this extra security and road closures throughout the city. Take a look at this. This is what it looks like when you pull up Google Maps in the heart of our nation's capital tonight. Of course, security only going to be increasing as we get closer to Inauguration Day on Wednesday. Back to you.